Good morning, everyone. I'm Yash this side from SEO Unleashed with Yash. And in this video, I will be going over explaining what a screaming frog SEO spider is and how to use it. Okay, so first of all, a question arises, what is screaming frog? So basically, screaming frog is a SEO tool that will help you to audit your on-page and technical SEO thing and help you improve that. So now the question is how to download it. So most probably you will know either you have already downloaded it or you have searched on Google how to download it. Just go on Google and search Screaming Frog and you will get to see a website, the official website, and you will just go over here and then you can click on download and yeah, you can select your operating system, Mac, OS or you know Windows or anything like that and you can just download it. Okay. So Screaming Frog has two version, obviously free and paid. Paid version costs you to 59 USD an year. That's definitely not expensive considering the you know considered uh, considering the value you are getting from this tool. And in the free version you are getting maximum of uh, 500 URLs to crawl whereas in the pro version you are getting unlimited URLs to crawl. That's the main thing that uh, you know that uh, actually differentiates the paid and free version so if you have a smaller website you can go with free version and if you have big website you can go with paid version uh we won't uh, we won't go into much detail for that let's directly jump into the dashboard of screaming frog and see how this works so in this video we'll not be going into very much detail we'll be uh, you know we'll be uh, just seeing an overview of how this tool works and how you can leverage it and get an edge over your competitors so I have already, uh, you know, just uh, opened the dashboard of uh, uh, Screaming Frog. When you open it, it doesn't, it doesn't look very, you know, user friendly. It's definitely the UI is not uh, very uh, easy to understand. But believe me, it's definitely not hard as well. So when you get into this, uh, when you get into the dashboard of Screaming Frog, you get to see these things. So here you have to put your website or uh, the URL that you want to crawl. Uh, I have just added a URL that I randomly took from internet and when you click on start, uh, you know, Screaming Frog will crawl it and when, uh, you know, it shows scroll 100% then it will show the data. So the first tab is internal tab. So this is the tab that shows the data or, you know, the information about your internal pages and yeah, you will get to see every page that your website has. Just check it here. And then you can check indexability. This is the main thing, right? You can check which of your pages are indexable and which are which of the, your pages are not indexable. For instance, if you, if you see here, this page is non-indexable, okay? And it is showing moved permanently. So you can ask your developer or SEO or any guy that you know you trust and who works with you to solve it for you, okay? And then the next thing is external tab but just a thing before that you can also you know uh, you can just uh, classify all these uh, urls based on these things html javascript css images pdf and many more things and you can also click on tree view and it will show you in this form this is very much you know easier to understand the structure of your website but for now we'll just go with list table view and yeah the next tab is external tab Okay, so in this tab, you will see the URLs or the external URLs that you are linking from your website. Okay, so these are the websites or the URLs that 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 this particular, uh, you know, URL has linked to. You can then again see status of those particular URLs, whether they have moved or they are fine. For instance, if you see 200, this means uh, the website or, the, or that particular URL is up and working fine. But if you see 301, this is moved permanently. You can check if you... If you really link to uh, if you really link to the right URL, okay. So the next thing is security, okay. So security is basically it checks status or security of that particular URL. You can click on here and you can click on HTTP HTTP URLs and then if you see some of those, you can actually ask your developer to solve those, okay. So that means if you are seeing some of the URLs over here, that means those particular URL don't have SSL installed, okay. Then you can select HTTPS URLs, then mixed content, form URL, insecure, and many more things. Okay. Also, you can uh, you know see missing SSTS header, and then you can again solve those. Then uh, the next thing is response code. Okay. So it uh, actually filter URLs based on response or the redirection. Okay. So you can click here, and then you can filter out the URLs based on uh, blog by robots.txt. Yeah, if these are blocked, these are not, uh, you know, the URLs uh, from our own website. So we can ignore these. 
and then you can click down block resources then 300 and then five if there is any uh, you know url with server error you can solve that then 400 and yeah so this way you can also check the check the uptime or you can sorry actually check whether those particular urls are up and uh, users are able to see that or not and the most important thing in this one is uh, you can check whether that particular url is blocked by robots.txt so what happens when many of the time people complain that their uh, website or some of their pages are not getting indexed so it might happen then that in the robots.txt tag you have blocked blocked a particular crawler to crawl it okay so again you can export those but we are not going to do that right now and yeah then here you can check url just give me a second uh, it's, it's it already selected some of the thing we will just go with all and here you can filter out all of your urls based on underscores uppercase multiple slashes repetitive path so if you have repetitive path it means you are using some words repetitively in your url okay then you can also select over 115 characters so if you have a url with very big you know character long character it might not be good for seo uh, so you again you can you know correct that and then you can select based on many parameters here and then you have page titles right so in the page titles you can just check the title of those particular pages and then length and yeah so you can actually check if there are any you know pages with missing title and in this particular case there is not and then you can also check duplicate titles and then you can solve those then you can check uh, if there is any uh, page with over 60 characters or below 30 characters you can so you could also you know resolve uh, those particular thing because in seo we suggest to use anywhere between 30 to 60 characters okay so you can solve uh, solve those and then you can also do check if the particular title is same as h1 and yeah again you can export those the next thing is meta description right so you can check the meta description of all those urls and then you again you can filter out based on duplicate missing over 155 characters or below 70 characters and then again on uh, pixels too so what good thing or something very useful you can do as you can click on some particular you know some particular address and then again you can click on surf snippet here and here you will see how that particular meta description is looking and then you can change meta title and meta description and see how it will look when changed okay for instance i am doing anything okay and this will show me how it will look in google so the best thing is you can actually see whether it will look very long or very short in google and then you can uh, you know then you can write based on that and yeah you have to you know then uh, then uh, redo it on your own website because uh, screaming frog won't do that obviously it will just show you how it is looking okay and yeah here it will show you length then uh, remaining length uh, in pixels here and then characters here so the next thing we are going to see is h1 and we are going to going to see mainly missing or duplicate h1 here h1 is missing so we'll make sure we do have h1 okay because h1 is again very necessary in seo and then you can check duplicate h1 if there's any and yeah then if you can also see if there's any multiple h1 so in this page there is two h1 so this is definitely not uh, you know seo friendly and he could resolve that then we could check the the same for h2 and the next thing that i want to show you is sitemap which is very helpful okay so using screaming frog you can also generate images or xml sitemap okay just click on here and then you can select the pages that you want to include in uh, you know in uh, sitemap okay you can include pdfs no index pages and then also you can you know choose response codes then priority etc and then another thing that you can do is configure spider this is only avail uh, available in the paid version you can do it in free version and then you know you can also add apis of hrefs Moj, majestic and most majestic or any other thing or any other software then again you can also do visualization this is really helpful let me show you click on crawl tree graph and it will generate a data and you can actually see you know the graph or the structure of a particular website how does it look <laughs> isn't it very beautiful right 
so yeah you can again you know check the structure of those particular website and you can actually you know learn from it if uh, you can uh, actually learn how your competitors who are ranking have structured their website and you can you know again do it on your clients or your own website so yeah this was all about uh, screaming frog seo spider this was obviously not a uh, you know not a full video not a full tutorial rather an overview of how it works uh, and yes you can just directly install or download screaming frog and get your hands dirty on it so i hope you like the video make sure to like and subscribe the channel and let me know if you have any questions in the comments bye bye